Hello and welcome to Climate Check. The world is getting hotter. That's shown clearly on the latest climate stripes. It's also reinforced in the new European State of the Climate report from EU Climate Service Copernicus. That's released today to coincide with President Biden's summit on climate. The report says that for Europe, 2020 was the hottest year on record. And globally, the past six years have been the warmest ever recorded. Evidence of these rising temperatures can be seen across the globe. A warmer world is a wetter world, meaning more flooding from increased rainfall and storm activity and rising sea levels. One of the main causes of sea level rise is polar ice melt, which has been accelerated in recent years by heat waves. Siberia in 2020 saw temperatures 6 Celsius above average. In these conditions, the permafrost thaws too, triggering the release of methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Scientists believe these Arctic heat waves are now 600 times more likely due to climate change. In recent years, record high temperatures have been recorded from Germany to India, Antarctica to Japan. Extreme heat also creates the hot, dry conditions to fuel wildfires, and record number of these have been seen in Australia, California, South America, and again in the Arctic. Not only are lives lost and homes and habitats destroyed, but the carbon dioxide emitted by these fires adds to the levels of CO2 in the atmosphere. And these levels are rising all the time due to the burning of fossil fuels involved in our industry, travel and energy consumption. Earlier this month, we saw the highest weekly level of CO2 on record at the Mauna Loa Observatory, 419.28 parts per million. Copernicus estimates that if current trends continue, as this graph shows, by 2034, the world will be 1.5 degrees warmer than before the Industrial Revolution. Global leaders meeting at this summit and later at COP26 are being urged to redouble their efforts to stay below this limit.